Hello there. So yesterday I got in, finally got the uh, Jedi Emperor's Throne Room uh, set in. So I figured I was I was holding off a little bit on doing the review for uh, VC two hundred Emperor, so that I could do this all at once. And uh, so we'll start with the VC two hundred Emperor. Whoops, look at there. Bring this up here so we can look at the card first, as always. So. A nice, uh, you know, return of the Jedi looking card with the Emperor. It's so weird when I get, you know, I talk about like carded figures because origin the original vintage figure was a mail away figure, and I have that's how I got him. But yeah, he's got that just the evil grin face there. When he's the look, that's kind of the look on his face when he's shooting the lightning at at Luke there. So it's definitely a cool sculpt. We'll take a closer look at the face sculpt in a bit. And here's the back, you know, Mr. Uh, VC200 there. And you see that wave in the previous wave there. And uh, so, yeah, geez, I got every one of these. Uh, except for the Akbar. Well, I've already had the Akbar, so I didn't feel the need to get that one. But, all right. So, yeah, it's a really good card there. And we'll look at this figure himself there. So let's get a good look at that face. Uh, what a face only a mother can love, right? Uh, let's take the the hood does come off here. Let me let me get a better look at it. So it's yeah, it's a plastic hood and then a soft good robe. But so that's that there. So give him some hair in the back, even though you really don't see it in the movie. Now I've already swapped out the hands. The hands are on a swivel wrist. And I swapped out the hands and put the lightning on there. And I think I'm going to display this one like that because he's got the, you know, that's the look on his face there. Uh, so he's got this nice soft grid robes and he's got ball hinged shoulders. Oh yeah, there's a look. The head's on a, I think it's one of those. No, it's just a strip ball head. Look at that. But yeah, he's got ball hinged elbows and swivel wrists, like I said. Um, there is a swivel at the waist. And then the. Let's see here. So those. I think it's a swivel wrist, a uh, uh, hip, I think. Yeah, swivel hip, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles which is plenty of articulation for this figure you don't need some of the super articulation you see on troopers or some other jedi and really all i need this guy to do is this <laughs> and then maybe be held by vader like this <laughs> but yeah that's a uh, really good sculpt on him man that's nice you like it we'll compare him with the other in a bit but uh, yeah, this little sash here that's plastic, but basically, and then like a skirt, um, uh, soft goods skirt piece, and then this robe here, which uh, looks good. I like it, and uh, definitely would. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could put him on this throne piece over here too. He's had that look before. But let me get this stuff. Actually, yeah, so he does come. Like, I added the hands. I already, like, swapped the hands out. But he, these are the hands that were on the figure, if you can see it from the bubble picture before. And they're good. I mean, it definitely this one. And it also comes with his, with his cane, which is nice. And he does. It will hold it fairly well. Wondering if I can put that in. Now, well, anyway, yeah. So he, he would hold it fairly decent, I think, if I had it in the arm. Um, but all right. So there's that. And now, I'll move these guys over to the side here, so we can do a little movement here. So we're going to look at 
this thing. And it's pretty big. I mean, the box itself is pretty big. Man, I've already cut it. I've already looked inside. So, but this opens up. Oops. Of course, I had a 50-50 shot at this. And it's like... So as I say, rising from the North Pole of the second Death Star is a 100-story isolation tower reserved for the Emperor from which he oversees the battle station's operations. The tower's four spikes, or spokes house a throne room, Palpatine's private chambers, and a vault reserved for Sith artifacts. The throne room was the site of a climatic showdown between Jedi and Sith at the Battle of Endor. And uh, so here it is, the front which you know, it's just like the back and then there's this side here so it's a nice nice presentation here so of course this opens up like this so i'll put this off to the side and this cardstock's actually pretty thick so that's that's nice and then let's see here this opens making this nice little diorama piece which I'm probably I just don't have the room to display it like this but here is the Emperor on his throne there's also this neat little drawer here which holds um, yeah, I'll pull up. so that comes with his cane loose lightsaber hilt and then also two lightning hands as well and that slides right in here looks great Let's see if I can get this. Think, okay, the back piece will come out pretty easy. We can look this pretty, the window piece. I know this is really great. It's pretty big. I don't know if I'll be able to display it in my cis shelf the way I had planned. But you have that there, or you can just do the stars. And it's easy enough to just unscrew these here to turn that piece. And that, again, look at that, how thick. That cardstock is that's really good. I'm I'm impressed on that one. So yeah, and you have the space battle going on out there. That's pretty cool. And now let me see how do I get him out of this? Okay. So I'll undo that there. I can probably bring him under. How is this done? Ugh. There we go. So I have the Emperor out. And then the throne. So this is basically the same. I can tell just by feel here that this is the same figure as VC200. It's just that the head sculpt is different. Which is fine. I mean, like I said, we've said already the uh, this is, you know, it's a, it's a good figure. It's, you know, it's got the articulation it needs. You know, the hands are good. And he sits, and he will sit on this throne here. That I'm going to just try to pull out without breaking it. Okay, so two-piece thing. That just pops back on. That's great. Let me get this out of the way. So we have a little more room. So that just sits behind it. You have this nice throne piece here. And it will bring it down. There we go. So again, we'll just look at these head sculpts here. I mean, so it's just basically the face. The more neutral face, I do like the more neutral face because just for display purposes, I think it's good. And uh, But not that this is bad. I mean, it's just it's a good angry he's unleashing the power of the dark side and uh, okay so yeah looking at this here you know we just kind of there he's got the same the hair and everything else that's a really good nice neutral sculpt there I'm like oh man his head doesn't want it. there it goes okay that's kind of like the sand trooper there for a second all right so, oops, I'm putting it on completely wrong. There we go. And uh, so, yeah, it's nice. He will, he sits 
very well on on here and it'd be kind of weird to just display it like that <laughs> but honestly if you wanted to do like you say you had an extra one of these guys and you wanted to sit just have them sitting in that and then use the neutral head for something else there that would uh you know that would definitely work but i mean let's take a better look at the throne itself i mean it's really nice there um got a good sculpt it's you know spins on its base it's got a good base you know, it's, you know pretty typical there and you got the nice little uh controls on it as well that's nice so i mean the only other time we got this throne that i can think of at least what i have in my collection is that <coughs> power of the force 2 cinema scene this final duel there and it came with a, an emperor that just it's, it's like no articulation that just sits in the throne and then you had a vader and a luke and uh but yeah this is this is a nice upgrade from that one and you can do multiple things with it so I mean that should pretty much do it for this one <clears throat> and uh, yeah so thanks again uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you're already subscribed thank you very much I greatly appreciate it um, if you aren't please consider subscribing uh, leave a like I mean, you made it this far I'm assuming you liked what I did and uh, leave a comment below um, we were able to get this. I know that they did a pre-order after the uh, the uh, the PulseCon. Oh yeah, I do owe a story about that one. Uh, it was just kind of funny. Was like because we were driving back from Florida that day, and uh, I had downloaded the app on my phone, and my wife, who has never done a pre-order for me, is sitting there with my phone while I'm driving. And I'm trying to tell her, okay, just keep refreshing, keep refreshing. And that finally came live. She was able to get one in there and then, you know, get one in the cart. And then it took a little while, you know, how it is uh, with pre-orders. But she just was a little surprised it took as long as it did uh, to get it in the cart and get it purchased. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so, yeah, I know it wasn't the greatest of story, but I, I did tease that in an earlier video. But it was just kind of fun because she's never had to deal with anything like that. Uh, did you guys have any similar experiences? Comment below. Let me know. Um, were you able to get one of the uh, pre-orders they put up? There was a second. I guess they're making a second wave of these to come out um, later. That would have probably been a good way to get a second one. Um, but I don't need a second. This one is just fine the way it is. And uh, But I don't know. let me know what you think and about this and uh you know again thanks again for watching and until next time may the force be with you remember the force will be with you